Hey, I'm Shane from Chainsworth Law. I'm here today with Ashley, one of the associates here at Chainsworth Law, uh, and we're talking about client victories. Uh, Ashley recently settled a case that got a great result for the client. Uh, and we want to find a little more out about that today. Yeah, so uh, MSR is driving along, goes to go through an intersection, something I think a lot of people fear. You see someone waiting to, wait to make a left-hand turn, yep. and you're like, oh, are they going to go or are they not? This guy decides to go last minute. There's no avoiding it. He gets T-boned. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, horrible, horrible accident. So, wait, he didn't even pull in front of him. He, he T-boned right, right into the into side? Him. Yeah. Um, what is that about, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. So, um, unfortunately, you know, something that we naturally want to do, he sees this guy coming and he braces, which is up. the absolute worst thing you could do right. in an accident. And his injuries show it. Yeah. Um, he initially complains of neck pain, back pain, left shoulder pain, right knee and left knee pain. So both knees? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, one, one, I think more so bracing against the, the brake, but the other one I think ends up hitting into the dashboard when he's jostled around. Right. Okay. Um, or the underside of the dashboard, how, however you want to refer to that. His, his neck and back were able to get under control, get the pain resolved. Um, as we do some, some physical therapy, his knees and his shoulders not responding. Yeah. So we get imaging done, and this poor guy, both ACLs, not just his left leg or his right leg, both knees, the ACLs are torn completely, requiring surgery. Wow. And shoulder, he's got a partial rotator cuff to his shoulder that needs surgery as well for Jeez, repair. Jeez, so that was obviously yeah. a massive impact. Yeah. Uh, and that's what I was going to say when you were talking about it, to damage both knees on the side. I mean, that means he just had to be hit super hard. Yeah. It's hard to imagine how the guy even got going that fast. Yeah. Well, and, and part of it's going to be the bracing. If I'm sitting here pushing my feet into the ground, holding onto the steering wheel, and that force goes to move through me, yeah. instead of my body moving with it, I'm pushing against it. We're not so stronger no, than a car. Yeah. So there's nowhere to, like you say, nowhere for, for the force to go, yeah, nothing to absorb it's it. It's going to break something. Yeah. So... Um, and I, I, I tell people all the time, you know, if you see it coming, just, I, I know that that's like completely opposite your natural inclination, but you're going to end up less hurt. Yeah. So unfortunately in his circumstances, all those surgeries were just going to be far too expensive for the type of insurance this other driver was carrying. Yeah. It's a hundred thousand dollar policy. So which sounds like a lot on paper. It, it does, but it, it, you know, in medicine, it, that goes quick. Um, so, I mean, the, the sh shoulder surgery alone was estimated at like $47,000. The two knee surgeries are up somewhere over 30, yeah. or between 20 and 30. And shoulder and knees are one of these things where a lot of people don't think about in a wreck or they, they get injured and they try to tough it out or they, mm -hmm. you know, well, my back and neck is the main thing because it hurts the most, I think. But, you know, I, to me, knees and shoulders just don't heal a lot of times, you yeah. know, or you can have a little tear and you can sort of make do, yeah. you, you know, yeah. make do or tough it you out. You adjust. And, uh, yeah. I, I mean, they're very common in car wrecks. They just don't get treated as much, that's yeah. what I would say. And, the, and the, the downside of those injuries, too, is they often require more physical therapy afterwards to help right. the joint heal. So that was just additional expenses that, like I said, unfortunately, the $100,000 wasn't enough. So what we did was just send in all the documentation of the tears. And yeah. was like, you need to just tend to your 100 because this, this guy can't even get better with it. You know, you need to give him yeah. all your money. And um, it was another case where within 30 days we had the check. So it sounds like you were right. They, they should have tendered all the money. Yeah. They did. Yep. Uh, which at least we were able to figure out what was going on. And no link, you know, no mystery illnesses to the shoulder mm -hmm. and the knee. Um, it's unfortunate you didn't have a larger un underinsured motorist policy, yeah. uh, which is one reason why a lot of times we recommend limits of $250,000 just because these are, you know, if you get hurt bad, that's when you need the money the most. Yeah. It's not to cover you in the small hurt my back and neck kind of deal, you know, just a little bit. It's when you have a serious injury, like yeah. you need neck surgery or shoulder or knee surgery or something like that. Well, either way, I'm, I'm glad you were on the case. It sounds like uh, you'll get them to the right doctors to at least figure out what's going what's on. Uh, and then you got the insurance company to do what they needed to do uh, as well in a timely manner. Yeah. Um, you know, we just wish there was more money. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but even so, great job. Glad you got all the money there. And I'm glad, I'm sure he was happy to get all the money to understand that's all the insurance money there is, so there's nothing else. For our listeners, hit like and subscribe down below for more client victories from Shane's with Law. Click the bell for notifications, and always remember, if you're in pain, call Shane, 980-999-9999. In pain, so I call Shane. Nine eight zero nine 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 nine. In pain, call Shane.